If you are searching on how to download VMware Workstation Player, Fusion Player or Workstation Pro, then this video is for you. In 2023, Broadcom has acquired VMware and in May 2024, VMware has discontinued VMware Workstation Player and Fusion Player because they have made Workstation Pro and Fusion Pro free for personal use. Since then, it has been difficult to download VMware products directly from their website. That's why I have created this step-by-step -step video to make it simple for you folks to legitimately download and install it from official Broadcom portal. So stay tuned until the end of this video to not miss any steps. Hello everyone, welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Hariharma. Without further delay, let's get started with this video. So first you need to go to Google and search for VMware Workstation and on the top link you can click on this and here you can see download Fusion or Workstation, click on this. It will redirect to Broadcom portal and here if you have an account you can log in but for the first time you need to click on register. So here you need to register with your email ID. So next thing is that you will get a verification code in your email. So the verification code is here. I can copy this and then paste it here and verify. So it will ask all the details. So you can provide the relevant details and then create an account. So next you can click on I will do it later to complete the profile. So you have now logged in. So once you have logged in, you again go back to the page where you got this download hypervisor and click on that. So because you have logged in, it will be opening the Broadcom portal. So the next thing that you need to do is go to my dashboard and search for VMware workstation and click on the pro. So here you will be getting an article, so click on this and if you scroll down you will be having a link where you can download it. So click on this first link under downloads and based on the OS that you want to use, you can use this. Same way you can use for VMware Fusion as well. So I will use for Windows, click on this and I will take the 17.6.2. So here you need to first agree and then it will be asking for screening. So you can click yes. So it will ask for your address and click on submit. Now you will see a HTTPS download. So now it will be able to download. So click on save. So now you will be able to see the download. So I have already downloaded. So I will just stop this and run the exe file click on next accept the terms and next for some of you 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 might see another step where you will see that it will ask for windows hypervisor platform to be installed then you can check automatically install and then it will install it Then click on finish. Now you can search VMware from the start menu. Now you will be able to see the VMware here. So now to create a new virtual machine, I'll try to give you a simple tiny core Linux virtual machine. So for that, I'll have to open this tiny core linux.net and click on downloads. So here you can download the core. So which is just a 17 MB. So I have downloaded it. So once you have downloaded, click on create new virtual machine and select the typical, click on next and you will say I'll install using disk image because the ISO file would be downloaded. The core current dot ISO that would have been downloaded. Click on that and open. 
click on next so in the welcome page you can see it is having 6.6.8 .6 as a uh, kernel version so i'll select other linux 6.x kernel so it is x86 so i can use other linux 6.x kernel then click on next and i'll give the name as tiny core linux click on next so i'll not give uh, too much storage so i can give just 2 gb because this is a small virtual machine but you can find out for each of the virtual machine there would be a minimum requirement and click on next and here it is automatically selected some of the memory uh, and hardware related details but if you want to edit you can go to customize and if i want to change the processor from 2 to 3 i can do it i can change the ram also i'll just give it 512 mb and click on close it will be selected here and click on finish now it is ready to power on you can just click on power on so you need to uh, select the screen click on this and then enter so it will start the boot options so now you can see it has loaded the operating system and also help command has given some other additional commands now if you want to get the cursor out of this click on ctrl alt and then you can click on i finished installing so this is how you can install it now if you want to stop this you can shut down the guest by clicking this and again if you want to delete this you can click on this right click here and under the manage you can delete from disk so that it will be permanently deleted so this is how you can install vmware workstation pro for free using latest method in the broadcom portal for windows 11. i have also created a video on how to install oracle virtual box on windows 11. you can check out that video in the description below or in the end screen that's all for today's video i hope this video has been informative if yes please type helpful in the comment section below your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating more content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another interesting video.